It's been a busy week in Arkansas politics as Congressman John Bozeman and Senator Blanche Lincoln squared off in their debate at the Peabody Hotel. I was honored to serve as moderator. Post-debate, we polled the U.S. Senate race to find out where our Kansans not only stand on the candidates, but what they think of the messaging going on in the race. How are our Kansans responding to health care, earmarks, a national sales tax proposal, and Senator Lincoln's chairmanship of the Agriculture Committee? Some surprising results. Our Talk Business poll surveyed 573 likely Arkansas voters on Thursday night of this past week. The poll has a margin of error of plus or minus 4%. First question, Congressman John Bozeman opposed the health care bill signed into law, while Senator Blanche Lincoln supported its passage. Based on what you know, do you think that the health care reforms passed by Congress will make your health care better, worse, or the same? 20.5% said better, 63% worse, 10% said it would stay the same, and 6.5% don't know. Next question, Senator Blanche Lincoln has served as chairman of the U.S. Senate Agriculture Committee for one full year. Does this make you more likely or less likely to vote for her in the 2010 general election? Only 25% said it would make them more likely to vote for Lincoln, 43% said less likely, 28.5% said no difference, and 3.5% said they don't know. FYI, we asked that same question one year ago in a talk business poll, and at that time, 22% said it would make them more likely, 22% said less likely, and 47% said no difference. Our third issue question, Congressman John Bozeman supports a bill that would implement a national sales tax of an estimated 23 cents for every dollar. The proposal would also eliminate your personal income taxes and the IRS. Does his support of this tax change make you more likely or less likely to vote for him in the 2010 general election? 43% of the voters we surveyed said it would make them more likely to vote for Bozeman. 33.5% said less likely. 13% said no difference. And 10.5% said they don't know. Final issue question. Earmarks are a process by which federal funds are designated for local and state projects. Senator Lincoln says that earmarks help level the playing field for small states like Arkansas to compete for federal money. Congressman Bozeman says they're examples of wasteful government spending. Both Bozeman and Lincoln say the earmark system can be improved. Based on what you know, do you think the current earmark process has been good or bad for Arkansas? 18.5% said good, 42.5% said it's been bad, 39% said they don't know. Now in this poll, we also asked voters at the front end of the poll and after those message questions how they plan to vote in the Senate race. The results were essentially the same. If the election for U.S. Senate were today, who would you vote for? 29% said they would vote for Democrat Senator Blanche Lincoln. 56% said they would vote for Republican Congressman John Bozeman. Independent Trevor Down comes in at 5%. Green Party candidate John Gray, 2%. And 8% are undecided. Now, these numbers are virtually the same within the margin of error from a poll we conducted on this race in mid-July. For analysis of these numbers and for insight on other races this cycle, I caught up with conservative blogger Jason Talbert of the Talbert Report and liberal blogger Matt Campbell of the Blue Hog Report. On the U.S. Senate race, Talbert's first. Well, we really haven't seen the numbers change. Lincoln has not been able to bring her number up at all. She's done quite a bit this last month. She's had several commercials that she's rolled out. She's traveled the district. She's talked a lot about the federal funds that she's secured for Arkansas projects. That has not helped her. Her numbers have remained in the low 30s. Bozeman's number has hovered in the mid-50s, uh, coming in close to 60%. So all the strategies she's trying has not resonated with the voters, and she's really just kind of treading water at this point. All right, Matt, anything in our poll that jumps out at you in the U.S. Senate race? Uh, two things. First, the not surprising part about how the health care bill just doesn't play here. Um, I know people have tried to make the case that it benefits the state, but it's not that message isn't getting through in the least that I can see. Uh, the other one that was somewhat shocking was that the her role as an agriculture chair didn't seem to have much of an effect at all. People didn't 
really care, at least as it showed up in the actual results between uh, she and Bozeman.